Optima Batteries is known for their innovation and technology. And if anything embodies the innovation and technology that our brand exudes, it would be this amazing Diamond T built by Tim O'Dell of Vice Unlimited. How you doing? Good. What a vehicle you have here. So this is a 1948 Diamond T. Who made the Diamond T? Diamond T was a brand back in the day, back in the 30s and 40s. This truck was originally a tow truck. If you, if you were broke down on the side of the road, the Diamond T was, you know, to the rescue. The cool thing about a Diamond T is the, kind of the distinct roof line. Uh -huh. They, they kind of have a chop top look from the factory, okay. and they have this really cool split window windshield. That's something that I could take to car shows back home. Um, and then I wanted to know something I could just go bomb around in the desert and have a good time. So, so this is street legal? Totally street legal. Yep, and yep. what engine do you have in it? So this is basically a 4400 uh, class race car, basically. Full chassis, um, IFS front, uh, trailing arm rear, mid-engine, 6 liter LS motor, turbocharged, 500 horse at the tire. Okay. 14 pounds of boost. So they call it the Swiss Army knife of off-road. This has about how much of 1948 left in it at this point? The, the Diamond T sheet metal is about the only thing that's, that's the original you know, part to the truck. So that kind of that mix of, of old vintage and new race parts, I think, is, is what makes this truck so cool. Yep. Well, the optimal battery that you use only has new parts. A regular battery uses recycled lead. Right. And because of the production process of optimal batteries, uh, the winders that they use to, to get our spiral cells together. Yep. You can't do that with recycled lead. It's too brittle, yep. doesn't work, and it doesn't produce the kind of battery that our brand needs that offers the maximum performance yep. and lifespan that you get from pure virgin lead. Will I fit in this vehicle? So. You, you will definitely be the biggest dude that's ever tried to fit. I, I will say it is tricky to get in it, so this should be entertaining. Did sure. you bring any butter? I will we'll give it a shot here. I think I can, I'll hold the door. My best option here is to get one leg in. <laughs> I fit as a passenger. <laughs> it's an automatic though, so that would make it easier. Yeah. But you got Holly EFI display in here. That's really nice. Yeah, so, so one thing that's kind of unique on this truck, this truck runs off of an iPad. So ignition switch, the lights, anything that was like a toggle switch normally is all operated from the iPad. So, and then the, the, like the, the gauges, the display is all a digital Holly dash. Um, yep, so it's pretty, uh, pretty techy stuff inside there. So there's no ignition key for this, there's, nope, there's a, password. a password for your yep. iPad. That's right. Yep. That's, and, and just press the iPad to start it. That's right. That's phenomenal. Yeah. When was the last time you saw somebody start a 1948 anything from an iPad? That's right, never. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. All right. Let's go for a ride, guys.